Okay, I'm down here in the basement today um, doing a couple things. This is that beast of an RCA that we picked up for the CRT, but of course the CRT has some cataract and it tests way, way low. Missing the UHF knob and the, uh, the panel there is missing its its control uh, panel. The, the controls are there, but it's missing the decorative cover. Um, I soldered the, this was off, the off the tripler. I've soldered, gone ahead and soldered that back on, and I'm just going to fire this thing up. This is the GR848S 1973. And I did want to get the CRT number off of it because on the tube diagram it lists, it lists two. So this is in fact the 25 VAMP22. Oh, where is that? I just saw it. It's over there. It is RCA branded. And it says 25 VAMP 22. I've gone ahead and applied power on the Variac. And one other thing, the pellet stove number two here. Had a touchy control, so I've gone ahead and uh, taken the control panel out. The room temperature was just, you just touch it and the stove would jump on and off. I'm going to take that under the magnifier and just check this for, for poor solder on any of the pins because it seems real, 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 real touchy. So uh, I have this set on the Variac and on. I'll lower that down a little bit and uh, we'll go get some jumper leads because I do not know how to turn this on I guess there's a plunger there and all we have is uh, I'll show you this is all we have to turn it on here are those two those two pads right there again the UHF knob is missing and the, the panel that covers the controls is missing but Tubes are available for this. I may want to fire this monster up. Let's go get a jumper and see if we can jump that power switch. Okay, on this control board for the uh, pellet stove number two, the Harman, I simply, uh, I touched up, I didn't see any bad connections, but I touched up the uh, these amp connectors here, which are notorious for uh, cracking. I touched up the transformer leads it's a dual-sided board, so it's usually not problematic. And I did touch the pot. That was the troublesome. I resoldered the connection there. So we'll button this thing back up. And I also got the clip leads to try the RCA. Okay, the issue this was having is when it runs out of fuel, it stays powered up. The status light is off means this stove is off. We just plugged it in. Um, the way you would turn it back on is you just momentarily move this to off and swing it to on and it was real touchy the light would come on and come off come on the the blowers would start stop so it's real touchy so let's just see I'm not going to light the stove but that's working good you would just touch this and it would go berserk it would be real touchy keep doing that okay I'm gonna leave that now I'll get the clip leads and try this RCA over here the variac is on oh I'm gonna bring it right up I'll bring it right up to 110 on the meter and uh, check everything in the back here yeah, like I was saying let me get some light here like I was saying all I have is two pads here and I am only guessing that that's the power
Okay. I can't. I can't have. Oh. I'm at a loss. I don't know how to turn this set on. That's volume and that's bright. Nowhere on this set does it tell you how to turn it on. That's why I'm only, that's why I'm guessing it's those pads right there. How else do you turn this full thing on? I don't know how to turn this on. I've looked at the diagram. There's two small wires that go up. The SAMS has the schematic. And if it's an SCR trigger, but I cannot figure out how to turn this on. There's just no power switch. If anybody out there has some insight, I'd be interested. I want to turn this on. Does it turn on? Maybe it does not turn on. I, I don't know. I'll put the back back on and just stop here on the RCA GR848S. Thanks for watching. I did want to go ahead and confirm that we are getting 119 at the uh, socket there. So uh, I'll see if there's any next. If there's any power at that. Um, at those touch at those touch pads oh I did press the circuit breaker and boy I got a 60 cycle hum and the uh, UPS started beeping so uh, this thing has a short in it pops the circuit breaker so I'm not going to do that again on camera but trust me uh, things are still falling apart um, okay well at least we know what to look for here we have a short circuit somewhere thanks for watching we'll isolate the low voltage power supplies check the diodes everything is semi modular on this but uh, oh, we'll pull the chassis on this but not today this will be another future project thanks for watching